you can unplug it. Now, does it hurt things? Yes, it can. If you've got an open document that you, you've been typing on for 14 hours and you never saved it, never stopped and saved it, you will lose whatever you edited. Once in a while, you'll cause some kind of problem uh, with the computer rebooting. That's a lot better than letting that, that spyware, and it's not a virus, it's actually a spyware, it's a lot better than get letting that in there because when you let that in there, it's going to just take over your computer. Now, how do you avoid that situation? Basically, you have got a two, two, two basic strategies. You can say to yourself, is this website I'm going to legitimate? Meaning, is it ethical? Most sites that are not ethical, in some way or not, don't care about you. And they don't care about whether you get infected. File sharing fi sites. If you go to share music or movies or any other copyrighted material illegally, you can bet that that guy doesn't care about you. That site doesn't care about you. You go there, you will get infected. That's how they make money. The second thing you can do is to recognize that advertising and emails that are advertising should never be replied to unless you ask for them. If you ask for them, then you can go ahead and do it. And so that's the two ways thing. Avoid emails that you didn't ask for and, and other advertisers you didn't ask for and stay away from the unethical sites. And when in doubt, if something pops up, just unplug it. All right. Thanks. Well, in uh, future episodes of Tech Talk, uh, we actually welcome uh, viewers to send in questions to us. So uh, you can uh, send a question to our mailbag. Um, Look at the information on the screen. There is the website that is techtalk at craftsmancomputer.com. Or if you want to uh, use the low tech way, then uh, you can uh, call the number at our computer shop, which is 414-831-0824. So we welcome your questions, and uh, we hope that we'll be able to use a few in some of our future episodes. Today we're going to turn our attention to something a little more in depth in a section we, we actually look for the techies out there who might want to follow this section. So if you're not really into anything technical and you don't think you might be wanting to dig into your computer, it's probably a good time to take a cup of coffee. But on the other hand, if you really want to know what's going on inside the computer and how to make it better, this is a section for you. Today we talked about heat. It's a great enemy of uh, hardware. And the uh, way you deal with heat in a computer is by airflow. Some of the things you can use to do airflow is our fans. For instance, this is a large case fan. It uh, spins one way and moves a lot of air. The bigger the fan, the more air it's going to move. But also, if it's not fast enough, it'll cause more noise. So you have to get a fan that's balanced between airflow and um, noise levels. Smaller fans, like the ones that are on top, or the one, this green one here in this little case, this fan here spins at a very high revolution, but it can, can produce a lot, a lot of wide, a whining type noise. Uh, gamers particularly don't like this, and children who are up past their bedtime and trying to keep themselves quiet so their parents don't catch them don't like loud fans. Well, this one here is uh, especially uh, uh, engineered to be a little quieter, but uh, your fans are going to move your air. The more air you move through your system, the cooler it will be. You put fans in the case, like I said, large ones like this will help, or small ones like this, or you might put a fan on the CPU itself. This is a CPU fan that spins and draws air into this block of a heat sink. So the CPU, which sits right below it, is, uh, this absorbs the heat, this block block of metal does, and the air goes through it and pushes the heat away. This is the primary way that they carry away, carry away heat. In a laptop, because the space is a lot smaller, you have the same principles, but they add something called a heat pipe. This is the fan. This is where the register where the air blows over to get rid of it. And this is the heat pipe right here, this curved thing here that goes over where the CPU is, where the CPU touches. So the heat comes up. The pipe pipes it out, out this way, 
and the fan blows cool air out of it. If this fan duct gets blocked, which often happens in a PC, your, your uh, laptop will overheat. Uh, on another show sometime, we'll tell you how to clean that out and take care of that. So fans, heat pipes, and um, heat sinks, these large blocks, are what keep your things cool. Now, if you're having a heat problem and all of your things clean, what you can do is you can increase the amount of heat that can be drawn away from the CPU by changing the formula of the contact. This contact has a square, you can almost see it in this one here, of specialized material that makes it draw the heat into the block. One kind of heat transfer compound is silicon. This is a tube of silicon, and, silicon, and if you uh, squeeze it, you'll see a little white come out. This looks like it's all plugged up. Little white stuff, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's silicon compound. That is good for uh, PC uh, desktop boxes. It's not so good for laptop because it doesn't have the heat coefficient. This stuff here is, uh, this is actually Arctic Silver MX4. This is some of the best stuff you can do, but this little tube here is $30, so it can be fun. It can be pretty expensive. What you do with this is you clean your bottom of your, um, your heat sink with the acetone, like this. Just clean it off with a cloth, get it good and clean. You clean the CPU, then you put a small dab of your heat compound on there, spread it around with your finger, and then put the things together. They mate together, and what happens is the heat compound squeezes into the micro uh, holes and, and scratches and whatnot in there, and fills them in so that they carry away more heat. Those are some of the things you can do. You can get larger fans, bigger heat sinks, better heat transfer compound. That's how you fix the heat problem in your PC. Well, I guess it's time to wrap up a little bit um, for our first episode of Tech Talk here. And I think the general idea that that we're trying to get across in this show is that people do not have to be the victims of their own computer. It, technology can do an awful lot for each of us, but it can be very daunting at times. And so we want to provide information, education, and just various tools to help you get a sense that you are the one who is control of your computer and your technology. Um, Laverne went over some uh, topics here today uh, talking about user error. Uh, he has gone to clients in the past, special trip to clients, and found out that something wasn't plugged in. Yeah. Yeah, and that has happened many, many times. There are software glitches. There, there are help manuals. You don't have to read through the whole book. You can go to the index. You can go to specific help screens if you're online or you're within a program. And things, common sense things that maybe aren't so common or people don't know, heat and humidity. You, you want to keep your computer back away from the, the wall. Give it some air. Try not to smoke around your computer. Keep it away from water keep your soft drinks and your coffee away from your computer and your keyboard and uh, and there are hardware errors and um, and Laverne got into a little bit more of the details of of special fans and things like that for those of you who really want to know the specifics of how to keep your your computer or your laptop very cool now, starting with our next show next month, uh, we want to do uh, a segment on speeding things up. Now, in, in character qualities, patience is a virtue, but I don't think any of us want to wait half a day for that special program to load or to get to that site on the internet or whatever. So there are a lot of tips, a lot of helps to allow your computer or your laptop to speed up and to, so that you can get your job or your entertainment or whatever it is you're doing with your computing, you can get, get to it faster. One of, the things, one of the things that I tell people is even right out of the box from a, from a store, I can speed their machine up by about 
There is so much junkware put on computers today, especially one from the big box places, that uh, I think it's one of the major uh, players, sellers in this town, charges $99 to clean your computer up before you've even taken it home. That they understand that it's full of junk. Well, we, can, we clean them up all the time. And some of the things I'll talk, talk about next week is how to do that, or next month, rather, uh, how to do that. So that's 20% right there, and you can notice the difference. There are a lot of things you can do to make your computer a lot faster. All right. Well, hopefully this has been uh, interesting, helpful, and maybe even a little bit entertaining for each of you who, uh, who want to know more about your, your technology. And uh, if you pay attention to the information that's passing on the screen, you'll, if you want to contact us, we're Craftsman Computer in Cudahy, 3556 East Barnard, Barnard Avenue in Cudahy, 414 831 Or you can always email questions for our mailbag at techtalk at craftsmancomputer.com or go to our website www.craftsmancomputer.com so until next month keep up the tech and keep up the talk